Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. In this uh, video, I'd like to really share uh, something that I've seen on Twitter today, and it's something really, really cool. It's a video from COPD athlete. So I'll show you the post. So this is it. So Russ Win 66 please follow this man on Twitter. If you are struggling with a lung condition, whether it's COPD, asthma, whatever it is, he's really an inspiration for, for all people who really struggle with medical conditions involving breathing and, you know, struggling with chronic respiratory disease. So a person who has COPD and is trying to do, uh, as you can see here, Ironman, marathons, studies, etc., <laughs> etc. Et so really, really inspiring person. And I just wanted to play this for you and then I'll have, give you a couple of comments because it's really, really cool. So look, this is a gentleman who has COPD. He has a concentrator right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. There's a little cannula that goes up to his to his nose and he's getting a little bit of extra oxygen and he's running on a treadmill that's not only flat, it's at an angle. So <laughs> he's basically going running uphill. So this is absolutely inspiring. This is absolutely fascinating. And I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, if you follow this man um, on, on Twitter, it's really amazing. COPD athlete, thank you for sharing this. I, I don't know him. I don't know who he is, but I just saw this. It popped up on my feed and it's just amazing. It's just great. And just a couple of comments. So if you if I go back to this, just to, to show you a few things. So this man is obviously on oxygen. It's just a little bit of a comment. I don't know him. Obviously, I don't know his medical condition. I don't know how what other medical problems he might have. But just as a blitz sort of looking at the situation. So he's on oxygen. So that means that oxygen levels in his blood are probably dipping a little bit low when he's exercising. Now, in this case, oxygen is not prescribed for breathlessness. And this is something that's really, really important. This is what is called ambulatory oxygen. Most likely, he needs to use oxygen when he is exercising because his levels are going a little bit low during exercise. And this can happen in interstitial lung diseases, in COPD, in any advanced lung condition, this can happen. Now, giving oxygen doesn't always fix the breathlessness, and this is an important point, but it corrects the oxygen levels in the blood. So that means that there's less strain on the organs, that they don't operate um, with a def oxygen deficit leading to anaerobic metabolisms, which again put a lot of strain in simple terms on the heart, you know, um, muscles, etc. So that can lead to other problems. If you are exercising with oxygen, it's usually quite safe. That's when it's indicated. If that's the plan for you, if that's the oxygen prescription for you, it's important to view oxygen as a form of treatment. And this is just a little comment that I wanted to make because in many respiratory conditions, people may be prescribed oxygen and sometimes people find it psychologically very, very limited, lim limiting. And I think it's really important to just see it as it is, a form of treatment. And I think if more people are aware that it can be used for exercise, for going around the house, for doing a little chores that require a bit of extra boost, that's going to go a long way to more acceptance and tolerability within the wider society of people having respiratory conditions requiring oxygen. And I think it's a really, really important point. But I wanted to share this video with you because it's really, really inspiring. And, you know, some people may see think that if you get diagnosed with a lung condition, it's a terminal situation, it cannot get better, life will only go downhill. But I've tried in the last few videos to just share that there is some encouragement out there if you look it, uh, look it up. If you talk to your doctors, you may find your medical team might advise what you can do safely in your case. And actually, physical exercise and good nutrition will probably make you cope with any respiratory condition much, much better. It's great for people who are in perfect health, but especially if you're suffering with a medical problem, actually avoiding exercise is probably the worst thing you can do, unless you have a very, very specific contraindication, something really, really major that your doctor will advise you about, probably starting with a safe form of exercise, such as walking progressively more and more until you get a little bit breathless, then you stop, then you push and go a little bit further, that's probably going to take you very, very far and make you feel better overall. And you can cope better if your muscles are stronger when you get a flare-up of your condition. When you get a little bit worse, you get an episode of pneumonia maybe in the future, you'll be able to cope better because your body is ready to take on the extra strain, the extra stress. So stressing the body at low levels 
may help in the long run to help you cope with the big stressors that may come as a consequence of the condition that you're suffering from. So I just wanted to share this today because I thought it's really inspiring. Please, if you have further questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm trying to share some encouragement. I think I've done this in the last few videos uh, if you want to watch them. And I will try to add more information about lung conditions here on this channel. So I have another channel which is interstitiallungdisease.info. This is a bit of a shameless plug here, but it's where I will put more information about interstitial lung diseases, ILDs and lung fibrosis. And on this channel, I will try to keep more information about general respiratory conditions and things that relate to that encouragement and things like that. So if you liked this video, do subscribe, hit the like button as every YouTuber will say. Thank you for watching. All the best to you. Hope you found this helpful and encouraging and all the best. Good health.